Welcome everyone to the House of More Politics. Hey, there's some breaking news going on out there about Donald Trump and some hot mic that happened back in 2005. Uh, I haven't heard it yet, but I did download it, and I want to I want to I want to do like a live reaction to it uh, to find out exactly what he said. I, I heard it's real controversial, and that it may be a October surprise that can really damage his uh, his, his campaign. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? Uh, let me go ahead and minimize this. Okay. You know, and she's still very I moved on her actually. You know, she was down on Palm Beach. I moved on her and I failed. I was talking about. I did try and fuck her. She was here. No, no, Nancy. No, this was and I moved on her very heavily. In fact, I took her out furniture shopping. She wanted to get some furniture. I said, I'll show you where that's some nice furniture. She got furniture. I moved on her like a bitch. What? I couldn't get there. And she was married. And all of a sudden, I see her. She's now got the big phony tits and everything. She's oh, my goodness. She looks. She's your girl's hot as shit. They're in the purple. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Please hold on. Yes, the Donald is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man. Wait, wait, you got to look at me. You got to really set this up. That's what we're doing. What the hell is this? You got to put the thumbs up. You got to get the thumbs up. Okay, we do it. Let me off first. Yeah, let me. It's very fun. You got to get the thumbs up. Oh. You and I will walk in. Okay, this video was just, okay, this the story. Got it. Got it. Got it. Maybe it's a different one. Better not be in the publicist. No, it's it's her. Yeah, that's her. I wonder what you're talking about. I'm going to use some tic just in case I start kissing her. Mm. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. Like, I don't either way. And when you're a star, they let you do it. Mm. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. What? I can do anything. <laughs> What? All you can see is the legs. No, it looks good. <laughs> His campaign is oh, over. Oh, that's your legs, huh? Oh, my goodness. Good. Sounds good if you don't fall out of the bus. Like four. Like, like four eyes dirty. Down below. Pull the hand. Wow, wow. Where did this come from? Hello, how are you? Oh, That's what you talking about. Don't look like belonging to your Trump to me. Thank you. Are you ready to be a substar? Okay. What in the heck was that? Oh my God. Now, okay, look. In the realm of presidential politics, think about it. What president, what presidential candidate would still be a candidate? After having said something like that, as a matter of fact, what presidential candidate would, would still be a candidate after having said anything that Donald Trump has said in the past 18 months? This is crazy. And I'm, I'm watching the news now, and they're talking about how this was a, a video back from 2005 and that he was a private citizen and things like that. But you can't defend that. It was locker room talk. It was locker room banter. You, you can't defend that. And then by him being a married man, he's talking about trying to get with a married woman. And and the way he the way he objectified women by saying you can touch them in their privates and they let you do it and things like that. It's it's crazy. Now look, the average American, don't get me wrong, I'm not stupid. The average dudes chilling on the block, hanging on the corner, they say some wild stuff. So that with Donald Trump saying that it is what it is, but with Donald Trump running for president and him saying that everything is so wrong, Hillary's doing stuff so wrong. He's talking about Bill Clinton, his infidelities. He's he's trying to bring out all this stuff about everybody doing so wrong. You, if you have a glass house, you cannot throw stones. If you are doing the same things, just like I, I did a video before, where uh, the Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich was the Speaker of the House in the time that Bill Clinton was trying to get impeached. They were trying to impeach him for Monica Lewinsky. But at the same time, he was trying to impeach the, uh, President Clinton. He was cheating on his wife with the wife that he got now. And his excuse was because he did cheat on his wife, he was in a better position to impe uh, impeach the President. 
You can't be a hypocrite in politics. You will get caught every time. And somebody is out to get Donald Trump because that video just came out of nowhere and went to the post. Somebody put that mic on him and set him up. Whether or not they wanted to use it as a blooper reel or what, it is what it is. But Donald Trump, I think your I think your presidential campaign is over. And then I see on CNN that he's saying that he apologized. He actually apologized on Twitter. But what messed him up was he said, if anybody is offended, I apologize if you are offended. You never put if. You just, hey, look, I'm sorry. It was dumb jock talk. It is what it is. I apologize. If you say, well, I apologize to those who've been offended, then you're not apologizing. Because what you're saying is, to those who have actually been offended, hey, I'm sorry. It is what it is. But to those people who wasn't offended, it's like, all right, to hell with you. You weren't offended. So what? No, bro. You should come out and apologize, period. And guess what? Now, now, in politics, if you got some bad news to deliver, you would deliver it on a Friday. I've said this before in the previous video. You put out bad news on a Friday, and it, it dies out by Sunday. They may talk about it on Meet the Press. They may talk about it on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. But for the most part, it dies out by Sunday. So Monday, they may mention it on Morning Joe or something like that. But for the most part, it's done unless it's some hot news. Like Trump tweeting at 5 o'clock in the damn morning. But somebody put this out on Friday for a reason. Sunday is the presidential debate forum. So you know somebody going to come out with a question like this. Why are you objectifying women? Why are you saying that because you're a star, you can go up and grope women's crotch and grab on them and kiss them and it's okay because they let you do it? Why are you trying to take a woman furniture shopping as a married man and trying to hit a married woman? Some of those questions are going to come out. And if, and if CNN, which Wolf Blitzer and some uh, this other reporter lady, I can't remember her name, if they're actually doing some research, if they're letting, like, Facebook questions come in, I guarantee you somebody gonna ask a question like that. If the people in the audience don't ask that question, somebody gonna ask that question. Because this is new news, this is hot news. Donald Trump and, and Hillary, of course Hillary Clinton, she's gonna pounce she's gonna pounce on this. And she put out a tweet saying that hey, this man should not be president. A lot of women are gonna be offended by this. A lot. His base is going to stay his base. They're going to vote for him no matter what. Just like Clinton. They're going to vote for her no matter what. The base is the base. You try to shift toward the middle in the general election to pick up those independents, those people that are still confused. This messed him up. And the crazy part about it, I've been watching CNN for the past two, three hours, and the only two news cycles they got are the hurricane and Donald Trump on this bus. And they even say the P word on the TV. They don't even bleep it out. Now you could, Fox News can call that media bias. It is what it is. But hey, what do you guys think about this video? About Donald Trump? Comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think. And this, this, oh my God, this is crazy. And so the next insane move that this dude makes, peace.